Even though it's kind of weird to be back to my old life, this is where I belong. You know, this is my favorite place in the world, even though they buy paintings from the mafia. Today's the first day back at work in a long time. Work makes me feel so tense. Tatsuro, who's this? Amanda! Oh, Tatsuro! Long time no see. Is this my ex? Tatsuro is Ranko's older brother. Oh, remember Ranko? Do you guys remember Ranko, my bestie? Oh, no! Hold on. I just already know that this man is put into my life to make everybody jealous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ricky. Uh, eat shit. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be good. Yes. Tetsuro, uh, we've been friends since we were kids. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is, oh my god, this is such a good plot. Y'all, this is getting so juicy. He's a detective and he's investigating the museum, museum robbery. Oh, this is so juicy. So like, first of all, he's investigating the black foxes, which is, um, you know, the group of uh, people that my, uh, the object of my desire is a part of. Uh, two of them actually, because I do also have some feelings for Tat, what's his name again? <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Takuro, Takuro, why do I forget his name? Ta Taken. <laughs> And Ricky, but then also I am also a black fox. Even though I wasn't a part of the museum robbery, I was still, I still am robbing places and people. I'm still an international thief. So yeah, he's a detective and he's investigating the museum robbery. Oh my God, he's trying to flirt with me. The way he like moved his head. I'm glad the museum is finally up and running again. Yeah, are you here for work? Yeah, it's ridiculous that we haven't caught the black foxes yet. Have they stolen anything else since then? Not that I've heard of. <laughs> So Ozawa didn't report the theft to the police after all. No, of course not. He's like a fucking criminal. Yeah, mm -hmm. he just had to eat that shit. Those damn black foxes. <laughs> yeah, they sound really horrible, Tatsuro. I bet they're selling the stuff they stole on the black market. Who the hell calls themselves noble thieves these days anyway? I know, right? <laughs> they're stuck in the medieval times or something. <laughs> Tatsuro's face turns serious and he puts a hand on my shoulder. Amanda, are you sure you don't remember any of their faces? What? Oh, no, no, not at all. The lights were so bright, I couldn't see their faces clearly. Sorry, I can't help. <laughs> Amanda, you really like art, don't you? What? Yeah, I do, but that, where did that come from? <laughs> yeah, everybody knows I like art. Is this like everybody's pickup line in this game? <laughs> yes, I like art. Amanda, you really like art, don't you? So I was wondering if maybe you might have seen their faces, but are covering for them. What are you saying? Of course not. It's not just that I'm covering for them. I am one of them. <laughs> Lying to Tatsuro really hurts. You're right. I'm sorry I said that. And then I'm gonna, I'm totally gonna gaslight him. Yeah, Tetsuro, I don't even know where that came from. Why would you accuse me of something like that? That really hurts. It really hurts that you think of me that way, honestly. Um, I'm gonna just need a minute. Oh my God. Tetsuro takes both of my hands in his and squeezes them. What? You're the victim here. <laughs> <laughs> so right. You're the victim here. I'm sorry I talked to you like that. You really should be, Tatsuro. Ugh, having no one apologize to me like that makes me feel so guilty. No, it doesn't. Mitsuro. What are you doing here, detective? Oh, that's the guy that likes me. Oh, for my date with Ricky. Where's Ricky? He's got to come. He's got to see this. Where's Ricky? He's got to see this. Please come visit me at work. You got to see this, Ricky. Look at these men lining up. They're lined up around the corner. <laughs> Ricky's gotta see this. Oh, hi, Mitsuro. Isn't engaging in sexual harassment during an investigation a little irresponsible? Mitsuro, what are you talking about? <laughs> sexual harassment? N no, Tetsuro's a childhood friend of mine. Childhood friend? Yeah, mind your own business. Togashi, you got a minute? We hear a voice calling Tetsuro. My boss is calling me, so I gotta go. See you later, Amanda. He's in love with me. <gasps> he just asked me out on a date. Oh, Ricky's fucked. Ricky's fucked. Everybody tell Ricky he's fucked. <laughs> Ricky's so fucked. Oh, how the turntables. I have the upper hand now. I am officially top dog. I am the alpha male, officially. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, Ricky's gonna be eating out of the palm of my hand. Yeah, now I really have exactly the weapon that I was looking for. This man is gonna destroy Ricky's life. Oh, when when, he, when Ricky sees me, that's the thing. Ricky thought he had it all. You know, Ricky really thought that he had all of this like leverage over me. He thinks that I'm like, oh, he's this alpha male. But I showed him that I really don't think that he is shit, honestly. Unlike everybody else in his life, I don't think he's perfect. He's not like the golden boy to me that he is to everyone else. And I like just treat him uh, straight up like everybody else. And he uh, respects that. He leads in love with me. He's so crazy about me. Now I'm living away from him. So it's like, 
like absence is going to make the heart grow fonder, as I've said. And now I have this man asking me out. And another man is crazy about, oh, this is, oh, yeah. Oh, it's going down. It's going down for real, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Grab your popcorn, everybody. Just strap in. Strap in. Let's go to eat soon. Okay, sure. Childhood friend. What a freak. Yeah, we've been close friends since we were little. But, it, oh. Ew! Mitsuro, get away from me! Ew! Ew! But in manga, the heroine always ends up with the childhood friend. M manga? My face, I think, turned green. She usually just thinks of him as a childhood friend, but then realizes he's been in love with her all along. What are you talking about, Mitsuro? Amanda, this time it's Mitsuro who grabs my hand. Go out to dinner with me. Oh my God, is Ricky seeing this? Please, there's gotta be a way. Is this being live streamed? Do we have like a, a loop live stream for, for like the, the museum Facebook? It maybe like, t t t t t t oh God, what is his name talking? The cameras, he's hacked into him because he wants to see me at work and then Ricky's looking over his shoulder. Please tell me that they're seeing this. I just got asked out two times in a row by two different men. Please tell me that Ricky's gonna find out about this, please. You're going out to eat with that childhood friend of yours, that detective, right? So why can't you go out with me? I'll go out with you, I'll go out with you, yeah. It's not that I can't. So you'll go out with me then? Uh, well, let's go to dinner to celebrate the reopening of the museum. Oh, okay then, sure. Ow! I have two dates. I have two dates, folks. Count them, one, two. And I got them back to back within five minutes. Two dates, and neither of them are with Ricky. Neither of them. There were two unrelated outside men. So they can't tell me that I'm prude anymore. They can't tell me that nobody wants me, that I'm unpopular, that I'm ugly. All the things that they've been saying to me, they can't say that anymore because I am the most desired woman in the city and everybody has to know it, please. Oh, I can't wait for Ricky to find out that I have two dates. Oh my God, I already went out on one of them. Ricky, please, please, Ricky, see me. That was a great restaurant. It had a nice atmosphere and the food was delicious. Oh God, it was with him first. How much was the bill? I like to pay for half because I'm a boss bitch. Oh, you don't have to do that. I was the one who invited you. But I remember what Ricky told me before. In situations like these, you should just let the guy pay. And he also told me to let the guy treat me and then say goodbye. I told him I couldn't do something like that and then he called me irritating. Amanda, yes? It, ever since the first time we met. Oh God, here we go. Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this spiel. His eyes are all bloodshot. I, I fell in l Oh God. What's going on? Is he going to tell me he loves me? Oh Jesus. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I'm just too nervous. Okay. Mitsuro is shaking like a leaf. Are you okay? You're a jerk. I turn around the direction of the voice. Oh my God. He sees me on a date. He sees me on a date. He sees me on a date with my coworker. <laughs> Ricky sees me on my date. This is just the first of two that I have. <laughs> Ricky? I'm sorry, Masuro. I see my friend over there. Will you wait? Oh, uh, sure. I hide behind some roadside trees and watch Ricky and the woman. Oh my god, wait. Ricky didn't see me? I wonder if this is one of his girlfriends. You know what kind of man I was from the beginning. Wait, he's on a date too? Fuck, he was supposed to see me on a date. And I told you how I felt from the very start that I have no intentions of seriously dating anyone. You asshole, smack. Oh, she slapped him. Uh-uh, you don't do that. Oh, what a terrible fight. If you want to hit me again, then hit me. What? If that's going to satisfy you, but it's not going to change my mind. The woman bites her lip, tears welling up in her eyes. Just forget about it. The woman turns away. Hey, did you enjoy the show? What? Oh yeah, I know he saw me. Do you know I was watching? Yep. Are you gonna go after her? Why? Why? Because she was crying. She had her fun while she was with me. We're even now. Ricky, you make me sick. Are you judging me? Yeah, I am. Yeah, we're staring at each other. I don't have any right to butt into Ricky's personal matters, but that was disgusting, honestly. And I'm so mad that he didn't see me on my date. Good, you're back. Get over here. <laughs> Get over here and I just grab him by his tie and kiss him. <laughs> I would, I would do that if that was an option. I absolutely would. 100% I would do that. That's something I would do for sure right now. Oh yeah, I would kiss, I would make out. I'd stick my tongue down his throat, 100%. Yep, right in front of Ricky, of course I would. Amanda, Mitsuru. What, you're in the middle of a date? Yeah, mm-hmm, yes we were. Mitsuru grabs my arm. Let's go, I'll get a taxi and take you home. That hurts, Mitsuru. Oh wow, he's hurting me. Don't worry, I'll make sure she gets home safely. There's nothing safe about that. I excuse me? Just what I said, going home with you is dangerous. Uh, maybe that's right, yeah, maybe. <sighs> Great, this is embarrassing, yeah. Listen, this isn't really the guy that I wanted you to catch me on a date with. Um, <sighs> Ricky puts an arm around me. Anyway, she lives at my house. Uh, what? Ricky! <laughs> 
You both are acting like assholes. Both of you are assholes. I'm going to home by myself. I'll get myself home. God, both of you suck. Come on, let's go. I guarantee you he wouldn't leave your house once he got you there. What? Really? You think that? That's scary. That's really scary. What the fuck? He wouldn't do that. He's not that kind of person. What? He's serious, unlike me? Ricky peers into my eyes. Well, what do you want to do? You want to go home with him or me? Neither of you. Is that, is that an option? Can I just go home with myself? God, I hate men. This is exactly why I hate men. I want to resist him, but I can't find the strength. I mean, I do like love him, but I, I'm ag actually like so pissed at him right now. I'm so mad that he was on a date. I'm so pissed. He's still doing this right now, though. He's still like obsessed with me and he still hates that I was on a date with that guy so it's just like ricky's really a challenge for me he's like more of a challenge than i than i'm usually equipped to handle when he looks at me with his eyes i just can't say no to him i get it i guess i get it i would much rather go home with him than mitsuro you know and i would have kissed him to make ricky jealous but at the same time he is a creep and i agree i do agree with that hey grumpy face <laughs> I'm mad at him. I'm not talking to him. I hold my head in my hands and bend down. What's wrong? My head. Your head? It hurts so bad it feels like it's gonna explode. Why does my head hurt? Ricky brings his face close to me. Your face is red. Do you have a fever? If I do, it's from thinking too much. Great. Oh, now I'm back at Ricky's house. C bring me home. I am so pissed off right now. I'm so pissed off. Here's some aspirin and a cold cloth. Thank you. I take it really like roughly. I like grab it out of his hand. Ricky's brought me into his room and he helps me into bed. Here, drink this tea. We don't want your cold to come back. I guess I'm just going to lean into the victim thing. Thanks. Drink it while it's still warm now. Ricky's being so nice taking care of me. He really is like an older brother. Yeah, that's all you are is an older brother to me. Why have I been getting so many fevers lately? I'm gonna sleep in the other room. Why? You have to work tomorrow, right? You need your rest tonight. Suddenly Ricky pinches both of my cheeks. Ow, what is he doing? I just wanted to see you smile. <laughs> well, you're pissing me off, but you made me smile first. Are you drunk, Ricky? No, I'm not. I haven't even drank that much today. Good night. Slam. <laughs> Ricky leaves the room and closes the door behind him. I told you how I felt at the beginning, that I have no intention of seriously dating anyone. I can't stop thinking about the crying woman. Yeah, if I get too close to Ricky, I might end up in tears just like her. No, I definitely will. Yeah. Well, that scared me. It's just a phone vibrating. I guess Ricky forgot his iPhone. Nice. I wonder if it's from that woman. I guess I should bring his phone to him. Oh, Amanda, what's up? How are you feeling? The look on your face, my face? It's the look of a young woman in love. <laughs> Shut up, I'm not in love. Is it Ricky? No, because Ricky came through the living room with the exact same look on his face. What? <laughs> Did something happen between you two? Not at all, no, nothing happened, nope. Hmm, really? Why? Just a gut feeling. At first glance, you two seem like total opposites, but deep down, you're really similar, aren't you? No, I don't think I'm anything like Ricky. <laughs> I'm nothing like Ricky. Did you get that from your fortune telling too? Nope, just an educated guess. A guess. <laughs> Well, I know you two are good kids. Would a good guy say you knew I was just playing with you from the beginning and make a woman cry? Oh good, I'm glad I'm being honest with boss. Oh, did you see Ricky fighting with one of his women? Yeah, yes I did, he was so cruel and it really shocked me. Huh, <laughs> I can imagine. I just don't get guys like that. That's probably for the best. But nowadays, women can't help being attracted to alpha males. Oh my God, fucking spare me with the alpha male shit, I hate it. It always ends up like that with Mr. Perfect. It's frustrating. I'm so irritated. I'm just going to bed. I start to return to Ricky's bedroom. I think even Ricky wants to find true love. When men fall in love, they fall in love hard, if you know what I mean. That wasn't necessary. <laughs> I looked at him, that wasn't necessary. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Anyway, I don't think Ricky's capable of that. Good night. Oh, hell yeah, that was so good. That was good. Only sadness awaits me if I get close to someone who can never seriously fall in love. So it's better if I stop feeling this way about him now. Totally agree, girl. The door is slightly open. Thank God. Hell yeah. Yes, baby. Hell yeah. Why are you sleeping in here? Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm, oh my God. <gasps> I'm spying. Yes, I love spying. Why are you sleeping in here? No reason. Hearing the voices, I stop in front of the door. Don't you really want to do what you want to do? What do you mean, what I want to do? Have a job you love, marry the girl you love. You want that, don't you? At some point, I'm going to become a diet member and take over my dad's seat. And in order to do that, I have to have an arranged marriage with someone who will benefit the family. It's already been decided, but not by you, by your father. Are you really okay with that? Living a life your father chose for you? I don't want to see anyone else hurt because of my family. Are you still agonizing over what happened to your mom? No, that's not it. Ricky told me his mother died in a car accident when he was young. But what does that have to do with what they're talking about? Is it Ibuki? Who? So because of her, you're not going to fall in love with anybody? Can you really live a life where all your freedom has been taken away? Who's Ibuki? Takuto, that's enough. Ibuki, I wonder who she is. I have no idea what they're talking about. Oh, great. 
perfect. I don't care. I just don't care. Yeah, poor Ricky. Oh, poor Ricky. He's rich. He's rich and successful. I guess I'll return his phone tomorrow. I turn around so I can walk back down to the hallway. Amanda, I thought you were going to sleep. Boss, what are you doing here? Um, Ricky forgot his cell phone. I was just going to bring it to him. I didn't know you were here. Oh, yeah, here's your cell phone. Oh, thanks. Okay, can we get everyone together and talk now? Some new information just came in. I just found out with the second painting, the Lily of the Valley is being kept. How convenient. I'm trying to go to sleep, you guys. Before I leave for work in the morning, boss calls us in for a meeting. Three years ago, Lily of the Valley was bought by the president of an IT company, Mr. Ibada. Ibada, I've heard of him. He's called the king of IT business. He doesn't strike me as someone who loves art. Ibada buys art as a means of tax evasion. Nice. Tax evasion. It's terrible. It's terrible that art is being used this way. So basically, he's pocketing all of that money. <laughs> yes, but the government found out about his plan, and I received info that he's going to be arrested within the next few days. Oh, good. If he's arrested, his art will be seized by the government in order to provide evidence of his tax evasion. So we need to recover Lily of the Valley before that happens. Oh, hell yeah. Where is he hiding it? A vacation home in, in Karazuzawa. He's going to have a party there this Saturday. A party? When he's about to be busted for tax evasion? What an idiot. The party's just a front. Abada knows he's going to be arrested, so he wants to get the art out of there. If he has a party, there will be all sorts of delivery trucks there, catering, alcohol. So he's going to use that as a distraction to haul the paintings out of his house. I see. So we're going to use that opportunity to get the painting for ourselves. Yes, I'll explain the simulation I made in detail now. That's it. Meet here at the Le Renard Noir at noon on Saturday. Roger. Don't you have to go to work? Y yes. Why are you spacing out? Didn't you get much sleep last night? Am I spacing out? Hmm? Was I really spacing out? Yeah, and you look pale. Suddenly, Ricky pushes my eyelids open with his finger. Shut up. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get out of here. Your eyes are bloodshot. What? Really? He takes some eye drops out and hands them to me. You can have this. Thank you. All right, I'm off to work. See you Saturday. Okay, be careful. I silently watch Ricky walk away. I won't be able to see him till Saturday. Here's some coffee, Amanda. I'm sure you want some too, Tekken. Thank you. Hey, how you doing, Takuto? <sighs> choking on coffee. Choking on coffee. Amanda, Takin's choking. I know. Are you okay? Thump. Okay, I thumped him. I'm sorry. He's not mad at me for thumping him. I didn't thump him hard though. I really thumped him very gently. I thumped him and then I kind of like rubbed his back a little bit. Yeah. It's Friday. Five days since the museum reopened. This pattern is actually considered late gothic rather than from the re Renaissance era. Is that so? That really helps a lot. Thanks. I'm glad I could be of help. I can forget about everything else when I work. Maybe I'm more suited to a career than I am to love. It's just too confusing hanging out with a bunch of thieves. Excuse me. Do you have a brochure I could look at? Oh yeah, here it is. And on top of that, I might be in love with one of those thieves. How ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I agree. Amanda, good work today. You too. You really worked hard this week, huh? Make sure to relax this weekend. Thanks. <laughs> Actually, I'll be doing a mission in Kariozawa. Mitsuru, get away from me. <laughs> Amanda, why are you avoiding me? I'm not avoiding you. I've just been busy this week. Um, is it because of that man you were with the other night? I told you I'm busy because of work. He's just not right for you, Amanda. He seems like a total playboy. Well, you can say that again. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right there. You're absolutely right. You don't know anything about him, Mitsuru. <laughs> Why am I sticking up for him? I don't, but I do know you, Amanda. I can't stop thinking about you. My head is so full of you, I can't even concentrate on my work. Amanda, he grabs my hands. Get off of me. Let me go. I said, let go of me, Mitsuro. Oh my God, Takuto, he's here to save me. Takuto, I love you. I love you. I officially love you. I'm trauma bonded. I'm trauma bonded to Takuto. Takuto is fucking saving me. Whoa, that was loud. Takuto, you're off work tomorrow, right? Let's go out for drinks. Damn, you are always in the way, aren't you? Takuto yanks Mitsuru off of me. Oh, sorry, Mitsuru. <laughs> oh my God. What is happening right now? Takuto came and saved me. And now we're going to get pork noodles. Y'all enemies to lovers is happening. It's playing out right before our very eyes. We're going to get pork noodles. <sighs> yeah, I love him. I love him. I think I love him. I think I might love him. I don't know. I don't know. I think I really might love him. I don't know. I think that Takuto has, has, a, has a fair shot. I don't know. The pork noodles here aren't bad. Oh, I can't wait to try them. A waiter returns with a remorseful look on his face. I'm sorry. I know you ordered two pork pork noodles, but this is the very last bowl. <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry about it. This always happens to us, doesn't it, Takuto? The waiter sets down the pork noodles and leaves. Takuto, you go ahead and you can, we both speak at the same time. Oh, we're so cute. Wait, we're like so cute. He doesn't hurt me. I mean, he was really, really fucking mean to me at first. <laughs> 
And I was gonna say he doesn't hurt like my feelings like Ricky does, but like he does. <laughs> he's, he was also really, really fucking mean to me. He's called me ugly before. He's been so fucking mean to me. What is going on? What is happening? What the fuck is happening? I'll eat whatever you don't want, but it's fine. Go ahead and eat, dude. He's such a sweetheart. All right, thanks. I break the wooden chopsticks apart and start eating the pork noodles. Oh, these are delicious. The flavor is really rich. I know, right? I'm gonna feed him some. Oh, he's smiling. He has such a cute smile. I don't see it often. So it makes it even more special when I do. Thump. Ow. What? Takudo hits my forehead with his clo with a closed fist? What did you do? He punched me in the forehead? You were depressed before, weren't you? Huh? When you hit my back the other day when I was choking, it felt weaker than usual. Yeah, because, oh my God, what? Did he come all the way to the museum and invite me out to eat because he knew I was depressed? Did you hear Ricky and I talking? You were in the hallway, weren't you? What? Yeah, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, it was an accident. Oh, so that's why you were feeling so insecure. I wasn't insecure. There's nothing between Ricky and me anyway. Literally nothing, Sakuda. like literally. Like, please do not get it twisted. You want some sake? Yeah, yes, yes I do. Mm -hmm. I had this kind before, it's really good. Um, Why are you being so nice to me all of a sudden? Do you feel sorry for me because I've been down or something? Takudo stares at me. I never act nice to someone out of pity. It's just, Ricky means a lot to me. <sighs> so I don't mean a lot to you? Are you kidding me? This is for Ricky? I really thought the sparks were flying here. What are you talking about, Takudo? I used to get bullied by older kids when I was little because of my personality. Why does everything have to be about Ricky? Everything's gotta come back to Ricky. But then Ricky would always come and help me and we'd go home covered in cuts and bruises. Wow, I had no idea that you two had a past like that. But then both of us got really tall and after that, they couldn't beat us up anymore. Sometimes we butt heads, but the two of us are like brothers. Uh, so that that's like, that would be actually really, <laughs> really, uh, I should probably pick one now because <laughs> that would be really mean to like pit them against each other. Anyway, drink up. This sake is dry, but it has a nice mellow taste. It's delicious. You sound like an old lady. Will you stop saying that? Give me the rest of your pork noodles. He takes the bowl from me and begins to eat. I'll eat carefully so I don't choke. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. At first he pissed me off, but now I feel relaxed with him. When I'm with Ricky, I get so mad and sad. But when I'm with Takuto, it's not so confusing. Literally, I'm saying like Ibuki is, hmm? She's his little sister. His little sister? Yeah, I think she turned 17 this year. She was born with a weak heart. And the doctor said she probably wouldn't survive to be this old. Oh my God. <laughs> what? She's always in and out of the hospital. Sometimes Ricky goes home to visit her. Their mom died right after Ibuki was born. So Ricky's like a parent to her. Like a parent? So that's why Ricky's so good at taking care of people. Yeah, he's a really protective older brother. He doesn't like to show people his weaknesses because he had to be mature from a really young age. Deep down, he wants to live his life how he wants. But if he does that, it would mean abandoning Ibuki, and he can't do that. So he's gonna live a life his dad decided for him? All his father cares about is the family name, how to protect their reputation, their assets, and that's basically why Ricky's mom died. What? His mom felt so much pressure from marrying into a family like that. She was a gentle person, she just couldn't take the pressure anymore. Right after Ibuki was born, she had a breakdown Oh my God, what? And was checked into a recuperation facility. What? And one day she snuck out of the facility and was driving a car. The car jumped a guardrail and fell into the ocean. Oh my God, that is so fucked up. I don't know what really happened, but there, no, it was not an accident. Holy shit, that is so fucked up. Oh my God. She basically like had postpartum, nobody cared. She had so much pressure from being in that fucked up family. I don't want to be in that family. You think I want to be in that family, Takuto? I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to be, I don't want to get all wrapped up in that. Never mind. No, I mean, it, honestly, it's just, that's too much. When was that? When Ricky was 10. Oh my God, I can't believe he had such a painful past. And even now he's desperately trying to protect his sister. I'm a spoiled little rich boy he's never suffered. Yeah, right, that wasn't true at all. He did his very best not to show weakness to others. I completely misjudged him. I thought he was some snobby elite who did everything perfectly. That's what he wants you to think. Well, should we go? Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, wow. So I like, like Takuto, I really do, but um, this is complicated <laughs> with Ricky. I mean, that puts a lot of context into everything. Like he really is like a sweetheart, but he's like such an asshole. But like, I think it's really him lashing out because he's like trying to like push me away. Yeah. I'm gonna take a taxi. Why don't you come with me? Ricky will be there. You know what? I'm just gonna go home. Fine. That was quick. He's not gonna try to stop me. It's just Ricky's been worried about you. He has? <gasps> what? 
Anyway, he'd get pissed at me if I let you walk home by yourself at night. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ricky really sent him out to get me. What? Just come home to lay Renard Noir with me. I guess he's right. I'll just be lonely if I go home. Okay, I'll go with you. I try to immerse myself in work to forget about it, but I've really been missing Ricky a lot. Nah, uh, yeah, I must admit, I have. Yeah, I just, I think I just need to see him. With the new information that I have, I just need to see him. I find Ricky sitting on the sofa drinking whiskey in front of his laptop. Hey, were you with Takuto? Yeah, we eat dinner together on the way home from work. Hmm, what are you doing? Ooh, I hope that made him jealous a little bit, kind of a little, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> Making the final checks for tomorrow's mission. I sit down next to him on the sofa and look at his laptop. What'd you and Takuto eat for dinner? Pork noodles. Huh, just how damn obsessed is he with pork noodles? What a terrible idea for a date. I'm not gonna say it's not a date. <laughs> next time, I'll tell him to take you out for Italian. I study Ricky's face closely. I'd rather eat your miso soup than Italian, Ricky. You'd rather eat miso soup? You are a cheap woman, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'll make you a special version tomorrow. The sight of his smile makes my chest tighten. <laughs> so was it fun, your date? It wasn't a date, but it was fun, actually. Hmm, what'd you talk about? Hmm, oh, about how you and Takuda used to get in fights with upperclassmen? <laughs> Why is he telling you such boring stories? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, boring stories. Takuda's a good guy. What? He's got a foul mouth, but deep down he's a kind person. Yeah, I know. I know that, Ricky. You don't have to tell me that. I know. Why don't you go out with him just to try it out? To try it out? I don't want to go out with anyone I don't love. There it is again, your blindingly pure personality. Ricky's eyes crinkle into a smile and he rests his hand on my head. Stop teasing me. Ricky takes his hand away. I'm not. He softly strokes my hair with his hand. <laughs> oh God. This whiskey's really good. Do you want some? I don't do well with whiskey. Then just have a taste. Ricky dips his finger, ah, no, he's not doing this, ah, oh my God. Ricky dips his finger in the glass and holds it out in front of me, Ricky. <laughs> lick his finger, yeah, oh, I'd lick his finger, of course, I silently lick his finger. <laughs> How is it? The bitter flavor spreads through my mouth, making my tongue tingle. A little bitter. Mmm. I gaze up at Ricky when he suddenly brings his face close to mine. Why don't you try going out with me? Oh my god, I could pass out. I'm gonna pass out. He, he, I can't do this. He's kidding. He's kidding. I'm like gonna pass out. I'm joking. Of course you are. I could kill him. I could kill him. He's not joking, by the way, you guys. If you didn't already catch on he's like literally not joking he says shit and then he's like fuck i have to i have to walk that back i'm joking he rests his hand on my head it has to be a joke oh, i'm gonna pass out oh my god oh, it has to be a joke oh, 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 he's not joking he's not joking oh my god oh my god oh my god oh oh god it's saturday night <laughs> do you guys realize how dangerous this has become because Ricky, uh, in addition to like definitely being in love with me and like it's just a very tense longing situation. It's like a forbidden love thing. He's also uh, come to find out to my horror, he's a sad boy. Oh yeah, he's a big old sad boy, yeah. And you know how I feel about sad boys, yeah. Yeah, I'm fucked. I think I'm fucked, actually. Remember, I was like, Ricky's fucked, everybody. No, I think I'm fucked. Anyway, we're at this guy's party. We're gonna steal some paintings. You know, thief shit, black fox shit. That place is huge. His company must be doing well. So well, he's trying not to pay taxes on it. Guys like him should be punished. Agreed. You all remember the simulation, right? Yep, you and Amanda go into the party to check on Ibada. Yeah, it's me and Ricky. Ricky, I'm telling you, that jacket, it does some really fucked up shit to, to my brain. It really does. It makes me feral. By the way, outfit of the night. <laughs> you ready? The same thing I was wearing last time, I think. Right? Am I wearing? Yeah, because everybody's got the same outfit. So that's my thief outfit, okay? Meanwhile, we'll park our car on a nearby road and ambush the truck carrying the paintings. The truck is disguised as a catering truck. There's only one road going to and from the mansion, so it has to pass by where you'll be parked. We'll pretend that our van's stalled and that we're stranded. And right as they get out of the truck, we'll put them to sleep with the tranquilizer gas, Jesus. Yep, and then check the contents of the van. This mission will be a piece of cake. You're so worried about the police, they're never gonna expect being robbed by the black foxes. I hope everything goes that well. Hey, you're kinda like jinxing us. Can you shut the fuck up, please? Thanks. Takan, are you worried about something? No, there's just no guarantee that everything will go according to plan. Can you just like shut the fuck up, Takuto, please? I love you, buddy, pal. Love you, bestie. But just please stop, okay? Because you're freaking me out. We just need to prepare for that. Yeah, we're always prepared. You think that Ricky, our fearless leader, is not prepared? You don't trust him? You don't trust Ricky in the leather jacket? And look at the leather jacket. You don't trust him? 
fool. You're a fool if you don't trust him. Oh, never mind. Yeah, Takuda's totally right, you guys. Listen to Takuda. <laughs> Ricky goes, Takuda's right. There might be trouble. So everyone needs to be on high alert. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Look at them all dancing away. Rich people, am I right? They have no idea that we're in like a, a, economic collapse. They have no idea that we're in a pandemic. None of you have any idea. Look at you all. Yeah, dancing away, dancing the night away. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves, all of you. Oh my God, look at all the people here. Oh, we're disguised. We're disguised. Okay, so we're disguised. That means that I showed up in a devastatingly gorgeous ball gown. You know, and I really don't wanna to draw too much attention to myself, I just can't help it. So I really tried not to go too hard. It's simple. It's blue because this tie is blue. It's got a little bit of a train, it's a little dramatic. It's a little bit dramatic, I won't lie. Wearing the push-up bra, the one with the strings, wearing that bad boy, of course. And yeah, it's just really devastatingly gorgeous, but it's simple. It's simple, but I did go a little overboard, but just a little, just enough where I think we can we can skate by. But I ha I wanted to look good because these people are the rich of the richest of the rich. Like everybody looked. I had to look the part, you know. Come closer. Ricky grabs my shoulder and pulls me in. The story is, we're supposed to be a couple, remember? Yeah, you're gonna love this, aren't you? Why is that again? Would someone come to a party like this alone? Coming as a couple looks more natural. I can't believe we have to fake being a couple. <laughs> kind of sad. No, it is kind of sad. Oh well, I don't have time to dwell on it. We begin making our way around the party. Why are you walking so stiffly? Oh my god, and I'm wearing stilettos! I knew it. I knew it! Yeah, see, I'm wearing stilettos! I'm not used to wearing stilettos, so my feet hurt. Are you okay? Ricky crouches down and peers at my feet. I'm fine. Just stand up, will you? And my toenails look amazing, by the way. <laughs> I just got them done earlier. Grab onto my arm. He's so thoughtful and such a worry wart. Amanda! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hey guys. Oh wait, this is gonna be so amazing. Wait, cause her brother's here. <gasps> oh, yes, I look so good. Listen, to remind you, just to remind you, I look better than I've ever looked in my life, okay? Really, really looking amazing. Amanda, R Ranko, and Tetsuro. What are they doing at this party? What a coincidence, I didn't think I'd see you here. W what are you doing here? A friend invited me. I thought I would come and meet some people, expand my network of information, you know? But I didn't want to come to a party alone, so I asked Tetsuro to come with me. Amanda, long time no see. And who's this? I'm Ricky Yanase, it's very nice to meet you. Are you two friends of Amanda's? Yes, my name's Ranko Tagoshi, and this is my older brother, Tetsuro. We've been friends since we were children. Is that right? Excuse me for asking, but how do you know Amanda, Mr. Yanase? I'm her boyfriend. Oh my god. Jeez, he didn't have to be so blunt about it. Ow! Whoa, Tetsuro's glaring at Ricky. Smack? Ranko hits me on the shoulder. Hey, why didn't you tell me? We had just started dating and she doesn't trust me yet. She doesn't trust you? Right now I'm doing everything I can to prove that I'm serious about her, but she doesn't believe me yet. Well, that's because you're so gorgeous. I can't believe you're dating Amanda. Ranko, you're a bitch. I totally think she was getting tricked somehow too. That's so mean, Ranko. You're the one who's getting tricked. We're not even a real couple, you fucking bitch. I hate lying to Ranko and Tetsuro, but Ranko's a little bitch and I actually don't like you anymore. We're not friends anymore, Ranko. <laughs> We're literally not even friends. I don't like you, Ranko. Yeah, me and Ranko are fighting. <laughs> Come here, Amanda. Ranko pulls me aside. What? Don't give me that. I thought we were best friends. Why didn't you tell me? Anyway, he's so hot. Tell me all the details later, okay? And ask him to introduce me to one of his friends. Okay, Ranko, you fucking bitch. She's seriously such a bitch. I don't know why I was friends with her all this time. She's always put me down like that. That's why I'm so insecure. It's because of Ranko. Ranko's really wrecked my brain. <laughs> Hmm, so the sister's a newspaper reporter and the brother's a detective. Sorry about that, I had no idea they'd be here. Nothing to apologize for, it's not your fault. But it's not exactly good for them to have seen us here either. Are you just as shocked that you had to lie to them? In that situation, we had no other choice but to say we were dating. I know that, but if I didn't say that, your detective friend would have followed you around all night. Followed me around? Yeah, he's in love with you. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, you noticed, Ricky? Oh, Ricky noticed. <laughs> Good. I'm very glad that Ricky noticed. No, he's not. <laughs> oh, come on. Can you really say that you're convinced of that? I don't know. Oh, so you actually think he might have a thing for you? No? I've liked Tetsuro ever since I was little. I'd always hoped he'd fall in love with me too, but anyway, that was back when we were kids. It has nothing to do with you. When you were kids, hmm. Ricky studies my face. I bet you were a prude even back then. Ricky, shut the fuck up. Will you knock it off? I like grab him by his coat. <laughs> Sorry. What about you, Ricky? Can you always tell when a woman likes you? Yep, 100% of the time. <laughs> 
and I roll my eyes. And then that must mean he's picked up on my feelings. Is he just pretending he doesn't know? But sometimes it's best not to pick up on it. Oh, okay, that was about me, 100%. Yeah, no, because it, it hurts him. It hurts him deep down inside because he knows we can never be. Yeah, it hurts him. It hurts his soul. Oh, I know. I know, Ricky. Oh, I know. It's Kenji. Ricky looks at his cell phone and then nods. Mission complete. <gasps> Really? They did it? Oh my God. That's amazing. So all I had to do was go to a party with Ricky and pretend we were boyfriend girlfriend. <laughs> That's amazing. They've recovered the object in question as planned. Now we just need to get out of here and meet them at the van. At first I was nervous, but it's like Kenji said it would be. Piece of cake. Oh, we've got trouble. What? Don't look behind you. Behind me? The detective is following us. Tetsuro? Could he have figured out our plan? No, that's not it. I think he wants to question you. He might want to see if you're really dating me or not. What? I can't believe it. What should we do? Run away? That'll make him even more suspicious. I don't want him to tail us. Why would he do that? <laughs> Shaking him off will be easier than running away. Suddenly, Ricky pulls me into an embrace. W what are you doing? It's just pretend. Just pretend to kiss me. <gasps> he pulls my face close and kisses me right next to my lips. Oh my god. Oh my God, my head's going blank. I think my heart's gonna explode. Ah! After a few moments, Ricky releases me from his arms. See, he's leaving. I turn around to see Tetsuro walking away. Why does Tetsuro, like, why is he on to me? He looks sad. I guess it's natural to be shocked when you see the woman you love kiss another man. <laughs> What, are you mad? I'm not mad. I couldn't help it. It was for the mission. I know that. Ricky's cool as a cucumber and I just look like a stupid child. This is so depressing. It is a little depressing. I turn on my heel and stomp off towards the yard in my gorgeous blue dress and my oh, hot stilettos. Suddenly, I feel myself floating as Ricky scoops me up in his arms. You're dragging your feet. They hurt, right? They do, but I can walk by myself. Let's just pretend you can. Let's just pretend I can't. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, Ricky, he's so romantic. I love him, I love him. Let's just pretend you can't so he can carry me, so he can carry me. Like, I love it. <laughs> I just love being um, treated like a little baby. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the best. That's really amazing. Wow, he just scooped me up. I said, I can walk, don't worry. He goes, let's just pretend you can't. So, like, he can carry me. Like, he's just such a, like, he's just such a silly goose. <laughs> You're just such a loser, Ricky. Oh my god, I just love you so much. <laughs> I can't do this, yeah. My feelings get so jumbled with Ricky. Your heart was beating out of your chest before. You jerk, why would you say that? Mine was too. Oh my God, I can't survive this. <laughs> this is fucking me up. Is this fucking y'all up? This is fucking me up. My cheek still burns from the feel of Ricky's lips on him. Yeah, I'm gonna pass away. Oh baby, okay, wow, damn, damn, damn. It's the middle of the night when we arrive back in Tokyo. Lily of the Valley. I didn't even read that, sorry. Yep, he's the same model as in Cherry Blossom. In the painting, the same young girl is dozing off in a chair. A bunch of beautiful lilies of the valley are arranged in a vase on a table in front of her. Did you know that those can kill kids? <laughs> from, I learned that from Breaking Bad, by the way. Lily of the Valley, that's like, that can kill like children, by the way. It just feels like a little foreboding. In the language of flowers, how does he know the language of flowers? That's really beautiful. The lily of the valley means return to happiness. Return to happiness. The girl does look like she's happy, and I'm sure that the artist was happy as he painted the girl's sleeping face. Ricky gazes at me, and I quickly turn my face away. Just for pretend. Let's just pretend to kiss. <sighs> yeah, for real. <laughs> when I think about what happened, I can't look him in the eye. Anyway, now we just have to get the final painting and solve the code. Well, it's late, so let's get some sleep. What? We're not gonna celebrate? Unlike you, some of us have to work tomorrow. Amanda, you're off tomorrow, right? Let's drink. I'm really tired today. I'm just gonna go to sleep. You can use my room. I'll sleep in the other room. Oh, okay. What's with you two? Did something happen? Huh? Until now, you guys have always slept in the same room. What's up? Nothing, idiot. Seriously? Leave me alone. You think I'd make a move on this prude? Oh, Ricky's back to his fucking defensive ass ways. You don't have to say it like that. You don't have to say it at all, because I already know that. Who cares anyway? Stop talking smack and go to bed, Kenny. Dude, Takudo has nothing but my respect. He's like such a good friend. He's like always there to protect Ricky. He's like the only one who knows that Ricky loves me. Even so, I really fucking hate that Ricky just like can't not be an asshole and get all defensive and weird. Like whenever he gets in his little mood. Knock, knock. Yes. What? I'm sorry about that. I should have thought before I spoke. Yeah, you should have. You don't have to apologize. I don't care. Don't lie. You don't have to worry about me. So just, I do worry about you. Oh my God. 
Oh my god, my soaps are on. They've been on for a while now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Ricky stares at me with serious eyes. I worry about you, even if you tell me not to. I'm like just staring at him, my mouth's agape. We gaze at each other in silence for a few moments. After the missions are over, we'll go back to being complete strangers. You're the one who said that, Ricky. Oh my god, I'm killing it right now. I know. We'll have nothing to do with each other once we recover the final painting, right? Yeah. Once we get the painting, I doubt we'll ever see each other again. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. We'll never see each other again. Ricky holds such a strong presence in my heart. Will I really be able to handle never seeing him again? Suddenly, he hugs me as tightly as he can. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yes. My face is buried so deeply into Ricky's chest, I can barely breathe. I can barely breathe. <laughs> Am I going to be okay? Ricky, let me go. I can't keep... Ha like, you just told me we were never going to see each other again, and then you fucking hug me like this. You can't sling me around just because you have issues, okay? Like, sorry. I just am not going to be here for it. If you can't be with me, and you know that, and you know you're never going to be with me, and you know you're going to choose that, then don't do this to me. I'm a human being, okay? I know that you don't see women as people, apparently, but I'm not the one. I'm not going to let you do this to me. Let me go. I try to push myself away from Ricky with all my might, but no, don't. Ricky's voice is hoarse. I don't understand. I don't want to, but I always end up hurting you. What? Get out of here, Ricky. He acts like it's just impossible not to hurt me. Oh, when I leave Le Renard Noir, I see Ricky standing by a car. Morning. Good morning. Is that your car? Yeah, it's usually parked at a lot in the neighborhood. Oh, you're wearing a suit. Working on a Sunday? No, an errand to run at home. I have to go with my father to a party for his supporters. Ricky is really going to become a politician like his father. I don't want any part of that. I'm going home. Then let me take you. I roll my eyes. No, I'm fine. Come on, I'll take you. Ricky opens up the passenger side door for me when suddenly, ring. It's from home, hello? I hear a woman's voice coming from his phone. Sir, it's Kakuno. What's wrong, Kakuno? Ibuko hasn't been feeling well this morning. The color instantly drains from Ricky's face. Oh God, oh God, and the doctor's come to check on her, but I thought I should probably let you know. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, Ricky, oh God, okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Here's my sad boy, here's my sad boy. Okay, never mind. I'm not mad anymore. Ricky hangs up the phone and then immediately makes another call. Hello, dad. Ricky, what's going on? Ibuka's not feeling well. They called a doctor to come check on her and I'm going home. So you should probably go, what are you talking about? Leave that to Kakuno and come to the party at once. Ibuki's always feeling unwell. That's nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Your daughter is suffering, but you're choosing a party over her? Of course. I get elected because I go to these parties. Oh my God, what a fucking, oh. I remember what Takuto said before. All Ricky's dad thinks about is the family name, protecting their assets and reputation. Is that what you want to be, Ricky? That's who you want to be? That doesn't even seem like a family. I'm not going to the party, click. Damn it! Oh my God. Ricky kicks one of the car's tires. Ricky. I grab Ricky's arm. Let me drive. What? You're too upset right now. And you might get another call from home, right? I'll drive you home. So get in the car. Oh my God. I am a boss bitch. Yeah, I'm killing it. Yep, it's true. Ricky murmurs from the passenger seat. Ibuki's my little sister. She's always had a weak heart. When she was born, the doctor said she wouldn't live long. Usually Kakuno, the housekeeper, takes care of her. Mm-hmm. Did you know this already? Damn you, Takuto. Always running off at the mouth. He's always worried about his little sister and has worked so hard since his mother died when he was 10. I'm sorry, but before, it was shameful. Before? Getting upset and kicking the tire. No, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like when men do that, but screech. Oh, geez. I stop at a red light. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of dramatic. Screech! Like, no, I just stopped. I just eased into a stop. <laughs> I didn't screech anything. Nothing screeched. Okay, I'm a good driver. It wasn't shameful at all. You and your sister have always been on your own, right? It's natural to be upset. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound like a know-it-all. I rest my hand back on the steering wheel and Ricky gently puts his hand on mine. <laughs> Thanks, I'm really glad you're here with me. I wanna support Ricky, I wanna help him any way I can. This might be the first time I've ever felt so strongly about somebody. No, yeah, I'm like fucked. I'm like totally fucked, actually. <laughs> He's a sad boy, uh-oh. Master Ricky. Aw, Kakuno. How is Ibuki, Kakuno? The medicine kicked in and she's sleeping now. The doctor said not to worry. Really? Whew, I'm sorry. She just seemed to be in so much pain, I got upset. No, it's fine, thank you for calling me. Ricky gives Kakuno a gentle smile. Just please don't call me master in front of others. I'm sorry. May I ask who this is? It's nice to meet you. I'm Amanda Sargent. <laughs> My full name. Hello, I'm Kukuno, the housekeeper. It's nice to meet you. We're going to check on Ibuki now. 
Oh my God, I'm gonna get to meet Ibuki. Oh my God, this is so important. Yeah, there's no coming back from this. Once like Ricky like introduces me to his sister, dude, he's, he's Mr. Darcy. He's Mr. Darcy right now. Yeah, Mr. Darcy, buddy. Yeah, you're mine, buddy. <laughs> like, I got ya. Yep, oh yeah. Oh, I'm just so, so Elizabeth Bennett. <laughs> Yeah, it's just not even funny. He's totally Mr. Darcy. This is totally Pride and Prejudice. It is. This is my Pride and Prejudice moment. Uh, we all have always wanted it and I'm getting it. And you might be jealous, but you can play this game too. Yeah, it's uh, it's on the Switch. Yes, sir, I'll bring you some tea. This really is the part where they go to Mr. Darcy's house and I meet his sister and I charm him to death to almost to the point where he dies yeah oh ibuki so this is ibuki she's beautiful she does resemble ricky she's fast asleep i'm so glad nothing bad happened thanks for driving me i'm sorry i wasted your time it was no problem at all master ricky oh my god amanda <laughs> don't do that you <laughs> little shit you little shit Oh my God, hold on, I gotta say that again. <laughs> I did not expect her to do that. That's some Elizabeth Bennett shit. Yeah, I'm in my Elizabeth Bennett era, <laughs> officially. It was no problem at all, Master Ricky. Don't call me that, silly. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. After a while, Ibuki wakes up. Oh my God, Ibuki, hi girl. Oh my God, you're so beautiful, hi. Hi, Ibuki. Ricky. How are you feeling? Much better. I'm sorry you had to come all the way here. Don't worry about it. Ibuki, this is my friend Amanda. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, my name is Ibuki. Um, did you two have plans together today? And because of me, you had to cancel? No, not at all. I smile at Ibuki and she smiles back. She has such a cute smile, like an angel's. She is like an angel, I agree. Ricky flips through the pages of a magazine on Ibuki's nightstand. A kimono magazine, huh? You interested in kimono? Yeah, there's so many kinds. I think they're wonderful. Kakuno bought this for me. Lately, even young girls are wearing antique kimono. Oh, this silk brocade is lovely. Oh my God, we're hitting it off. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. But I really am so good with family. I'm so good at meeting the family. And I'm I'm genuine. I really do want to be a part of everybody's family. I, that means a lot to me, honestly. It really does. Like I want to have a connection with her. I'm not being fake here. This isn't just for Ricky. This is for Ibuki. I care for her. I really do. I think that one's really cute too. You know about kimono? Not a lot, but I took fashion course in college at Harvard University <laughs> and wrote a paper about kimono. Really? I don't know anything about them, so maybe you could help her out. With what? She's gonna wear fur sewed for her coming of age ceremony, right? She should probably pick one out soon. What's wrong? You don't have to be shy. No, it's not that. I like just looking at them is all. Don't say that. Just think about the kind you'd want. Oh God, I'll take this outside. Cell phone in hand, Ricky leaves the bedroom. It's probably from his dad. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm so surprised. Hmm? Ricky's never brought a girl home before. Oh yeah, this is me and my girl. Me and my little sis, we're gonna have the tea. Yep. <laughs> and I like take her hand, I'm like, really? <laughs> no, I'm just Ricky's never brought a girl home before. A big smile spreads across Ibuki's face. Oh, Ricky might be different than I thought. If he has a nice girlfriend like you. Mm, I'm not actually his girlfriend, but that's really promising for me. Amanda. Ibuki places a hand on my arm. About the kimono for my coming of age ceremony. If Ricky tries to buy me one, even though I said no, I want you to stop him. Why? He wants to get it for you. I know that, but I don't even know if I'll live that long. Ibuki, don't do this to me. If I die and he still has that kimono, it'll make him so sad, you know? Seeing that kimono will just make it worse for him. Oh my God, <laughs> that fucking kills me. I just squeeze her hand, I'm just squeezing her hand. If she wants me to do that, I'll do that for her. I will do that for her. I'm not gonna tell her that she's, I'm not gonna say no, just because that's not what I think. So I don't want him to buy me one. I'm sorry, this must sound really weird. No, I totally get it, I totally get it. Hey, if that's what you want, I got you, okay? If you need anything, I'm here for you, I'll give you my number, okay? Call me if you need anything. If there's anything that you don't think you can ask Ricky because it's just weird or because you don't wanna hurt him, stuff like this, you can, you can come to me, okay? I got you, but I can't ask anyone else. I can't say anything irresponsible, like I'm sure you'll be fine. And Ibuki seems really serious about this. Okay, I understand. I squeeze, yeah, see, I knew it. Yeah, I squeeze Ibuki's hand. I know this is strange since we just met. I said that! I literally said that! Yes. Oh, we're on the same wavelength, baby. Oh, hell yeah, yep. But if there's anything else I can do, just tell me. Do you think you could convince Ricky to live freely? He's bound to this family, all because of me. Aw, sweetheart. You don't know how many 
thousands of times I thought, oh my God, this is fucking killing me. You don't know how many thousands of times I've thought, if only I were gone, he'd be able to live the life he wants. Ibuki, this isn't your fault, sweetheart. That's not true. He'd be devastated if he heard you say that. I study Ibuki's face. You're the most important thing in the world to Ricky. You want him to be happy, right? Well, he wants the same for you. He wants you to be happy. It might be cruel to say this to her when she's sick and already suffering, but that's the only thing I can think of now that might cheer her up. Ricky's only wish right now is for you to be happy every single day. A single tear slides down Ibuki's face. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that hurts. That hurts me deep inside. <laughs> Ricky drives on the way home. He hasn't said a word since he's got in the car. He's just stared straight ahead. Oh god. After a long silence, he finally opens his mouth. So she doesn't think she'll live to see her coming of age ceremony. Oh, did I s Oh, he overheard. Okay. Wow. Oh, damn. After my phone call was over, I went back inside and heard everything. Thank you for saying all those things to Ibuki. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I mean like the uh, that was uh, honestly Wow, yeah, I didn't think you overheard that. Damn, I'm so, actually, I will say I'm so good because I thought he was gonna try to buy it and I was gonna have to stop him and he was gonna get mad at me. I thought that was gonna be a whole thing, ugh. After Ibuki was born, my mom died so soon afterwards and I looked at my baby sister and I thought, I have to protect her. But I guess that just turned out to be a burden for her. Damn it, I'm trying so hard to hold back, but I'm crying. I just like cry a little bit. It's just like very, very, very subtle. Why are you crying, silly? Ricky pulls my head against him with one hand, but that's so much like what an older brother would do. Stop saying that Amanda. It just makes me cry even harder. I'm sorry I involved you in my family's problems. Don't say that. I want to be involved. You're so unfair, Ricky. You know how I feel about you, don't you? Oh my god, I'm being so bold. What? Even though you know how I feel every time I get close to you, you build up all these walls to keep me out. Ricky yanks on the steering wheel and pulls over on the side of the road. What? Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm gonna pass out. I am going to cry and pass out, I really am. <laughs> You're right, I'm not being fair to you. Ricky takes off his seatbelt and hugs me. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> he hugs me? Okay, oh, he brings his lips close to mine. I don't want you to do this to me if you don't mean it. Oh my god, I'm being a boss, bitch. Damn it. When I'm with you, it's too hard to hold back my feelings. Ricky stares at me steadily and says, I'll try not to get any closer to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Right. That went super well. Cool. Yeah, I'm back at home where I belong. Fuck men. Fuck men. <laughs> Fuck all men. I hate men. I am only into girls. <laughs> Damn. Fuck my life. It's Friday night. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. Yesterday was Thursday, Thursday. Oh my God, I fucking hate my life. I'm just hanging around my apartment completely exhausted from work. Sorry, that just really fucked me up. Ricky pulled over, unbuckled his seatbelt, and hugged me. <laughs> <laughs> After all I did, <sighs> I worked so hard this week, I just want to forget everything. Yeah, damn it. When I'm with you, it's just too hard to hold back my feelings. I won't get any closer to you, he said. Yeah, I really, oh wow. Oh, it's been almost a week. Hell yeah, girl. Good girl, good girl. Oh, good girl. Very good girl. Yeah, we really need to quit the whole Ricky thing. Honestly, I'm kind of fucking done. Ibuki literally said that she doesn't want him to do that, that she wants him to live the life that he wants. And he's still like, I can't get close to you ever. I need to stop getting close to you. Okay, Ricky. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Ibuki literally said that's what she wants. And you're just gonna do this, you fucking asshole. He doesn't get it, he just doesn't get it. Men are stupid. What can I tell you other than men don't have the same kind of brain as, as women. They just don't think like us. They just aren't equal. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I have no excuses for men. Does anybody out there have any excuses for men? Why are they like this? And I probably won't see him again until the next mission. Good, I had no idea what to do with myself after he said that to me. I just need to get over him. Ring, Ugh, my phone, who could it be? Hello? Takudo. Leave it to Takudo. Why haven't you come around lately? I haven't seen you all week. Do you have a fight with Ricky? No, I've just been busy with work. Hmm. Well, you should come over sometime. It's boring here without you. That's what Boss said anyway. Can I just say, I love this game. <laughs> no, I hate it, but I love it. This is really, truly so immersive. I love this. I mean, there's a lot of like weird shit, but like, I just want 
I just want to say that like not only is like Ricky really developed as a character as flawed as he may be you know he's not perfect after all after all the golden boy the golden perfect boy that everybody thinks is perfect he's not but like the bond that I have with the gang the, with the black foxes is really beautiful like we all have like this bond you know I'm like a part of the team like Takuto's calling me on my phone like I'm gonna cry dude I love that shit like that's my family right there you know the black foxes like that's my family and I have a bond with all of them I got a bond with Hiro uh Kenshi is that his name I don't really know him to be honest I try not to the boss yeah he's cool Takuto one of my best friends in the world you know we started off on the wrong foot I would say that I wanted to kill him at one point truly I wanted to poison him I was thinking about it. I was really thinking about uh, putting poison in his in his noodles, but I didn't, and I'm glad I didn't because I got to know him, and he's actually a good guy. I was thinking for a minute that I might have had a crush on him, but gone past that. I would say he's like my brother, you know. I'll keep my options open though. I won't say that actually. I'll just say he's like a friend, a best friend, a bestie. I'm walking back the brother thing. Nobody's like a brother to me. Everybody's always an option. <laughs> But yeah, no, I have a, I have like a relationship with all of them, like a special relationship. Like I would be sad if anything happened to any of them. And it's just like, everybody's really developed. Like this whole, like, I just love the friendship of the group. You know, I think it's really, it's just nice that Takuto's calling me because he's like, where have you been? Like everybody's, like people have noticed that I'm not around. That's really nice, you know? That really just makes me feel loved and I just love this game <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Anyway, okay, I have been craving pork noodles. See you later. I'm going over there. Takuda was worried about me, so he called me. I guess he really is a nice guy deep down. He may have a foul mouth, but deep down he's a nice guy. Why don't you go out with him just to try it out? I remember Ricky's words again. Wait, am I gonna go out with Takuto? Maybe I'll just go, yeah, exactly. Keep the option open. No, yeah, I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna go out with Takuto. I look cute. What am I wearing? What's the outfit of the night? Oh, wait, what? I thought I was going out. Okay, I changed into pajamas. <laughs> Never mind. And slide into my futon. Who the fuck's here? Okay, well, let's just see what the pajamas are. It's gonna be short shorts, right? Short, cute shorts. And a long sleeved long shirt with, um, Oh God, it's Tetsuro. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, you were sleeping, weren't you? Yeah. It's fine. What's up? That guy I saw you with at the party in Karuzawa. He's an official at the Ministry of Finance, isn't he? That's none of your business. I heard from a friend that Yanasi is very successful, but he's also a playboy. What are you doing? You're looking into him? I was worried about you. Oh my god. I just don't get it. That was really uncalled for. I'm sorry, Tetsuro, but you're a detective and I can't let you catch on to Ricky. This is none of your business. Uh, of course it is. I'm in love. I'm in love with Ricky. I cut him off. Things are great between us, so don't interfere anymore. Then why do you look so sad? Tetsuro grabs me by the arm. If things are going so great, then why do you look so sad? Tetsuro! Uh, I know you, Amanda. I can tell. I won't let a man like him have you. Lala's delivery service. What the fuck is this? I brought your order. What the hell is this? I look through the peephole. Takudo? Takudo sits down two bowls of pork noodles on my desk. You said you've been craving them, right? So I brought some for you. He went through all that trouble. That guy had a weird look on his face as he was leaving. I'm really glad Takudo showed up when he did because I had no idea what else to say to Tetsuro. Okay, so I guess he was out by the door and then he came in and delivered the noodles and then Tetsuro left. Holy shit, that was fucking tense. Anyway, let's eat. Oh yeah, I'm like in my pajamas, but they're really cute. It's like, yeah, it's like short shorts. Like, yeah, my ass is out, I won't lie. <laughs> like a little bit, you know, like just, yeah. Spaghetti straps, but it's like loose fitting. It's fine, I look really, really beautiful, but it's like in a sleepy way. <laughs> You know, Takuto looks around my room. Looks like a poor person lives here. Takuto, shut up. Well, excuse me, I am poor. Ugh, that's what you get for being mean, you choking bitch. You're always choking. Thump, I hit Takuto on his back. Better now? Yeah, hitting me way too hard as usual. I did it on purpose this time. Takuto looks at me and smiles. You finally smiled. His smile is so kind. When he's so nice to me like this, I feel like opening up to him, but I shouldn't. You have a ton of art books, huh? Oh my god, I should. I should open up to him. I kind of love him. What's this one? Oh, I love him. I'm in love. <laughs> That's all it takes. He's like asking me about my special interest. I can tell you, yeah. A book about Leone Battista Alberti's architecture. I show him all the various buildings painting. Oh yeah. Oh, hell yeah. We talk about that for a while. You really do love art. Have you always? Like, that's the line. That's the line that seems everybody who says, uh, Amanda, you really do love art, loves me. Well... 
I loved looking at pictures and sculptures ever since I was a kid. Since I loved it so much, I always wanted to be surrounded by art. That's all. Takuto, you're so cute. We should kiss. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I keep thinking about Ricky, but he really fucked me over. It sounds nice to want to be with something just because you love it. I was just thinking, maybe talking to girls isn't so bad. Takuto, what is going on? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm going home now. I just came to give you that food anyway. Takuto stands up. Hey, thanks for the noodles. I like grab his hand. Feeling better now? Takuto gently puts a hand on my head. Yes, much better. I do feel a lot better since talking to Takuto. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Listen, every time I'm with Takuto, I feel better. What the fuck? I wonder if I would always be this happy if Takuto was my boyfriend. A text from Ricky. Uh, I got it too. It says, got some info on the third painting. Meet at LRN. Well, let's just make it really obvious that we were together. I got to change out of my pajamas. Here's what I change into. <laughs> just like a long sleeved, really tight maroon shirt and then um, skinny jeans. And then I'm wearing my boots, my um, my spy boots because of, I'm going to a spy meeting. I'm trying to like make it like, you know, yeah. And then my spy boots and then let's put on a little scarf too, like a little scarf. Yeah, that's that's what I'm wearing. That's the outfit of the night. Cause it's like a spy meeting. I just, I'm cause it's like spy light. Like I'm serving spy light, like spy going to a meeting for spying. I'm not a spy, I'm a thief. It's not a spy meeting. Why do I keep saying spy? A thief meeting. It's like thief light. So like it's just a little thief, like it's like a thief like reference, like a thief callback, you know, but I'm not like actually in my thief outfit. I'm just like, I'm like referencing the fact that I am a thief and I'm going to a thief meeting, if that makes sense. You two were together? Yeah, I ate pork noodles at her house. Oh my God, yes, this is what I always wanted. Yes, this is what I always wanted. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is, I deserve this. I deserve this. I really, really do deserve this, yes. Won't Ricky get the wrong idea? <laughs> Yeah, he surprised me. He's so sweet. He showed up all of a sudden. I was really surprised. Sorry. No, it's fine. It was really sweet. Did you make pork noodles, Amanda? No, Takuto brought me some from here. And pretended he was a delivery man. Really? That's funny. I know, right? And totally unlike you. Yeah, well, it's the first time I've seen Ricky's face in five days. My chest feels so tight. Why'd you call us here so late, Ricky? Sorry about that. I wanted to tell everyone ASAP. Yeah, Ricky looks like so beautiful, but it's fine. I do too. <laughs> Ricky explains the information he's received about the third painting. According to my information, the third painting will be sold in a black market auction tomorrow. Tomorrow? So soon? The auction will be held at an expensive hotel. There'll be guards everywhere. So here's the simulation I devised to seal the painting. Ricky opens his laptops and shows us the blueprints of the hotel. I'll explain everything in detail. Cool. Fine. Hey, it's been forever since I saw you at Le Renard Noir. Yeah, I've been busy with work. Hmm, hey. Kenshi suddenly brings his face close to mine. What, what is it? Are you going out with Takuto? What? No, of course not. <laughs> really? You two are at your apartment alone. That's true, but I thought you were in love with Ricky, so I never would have guessed you'd fall for Takuto. Like I said, I didn't. You always have your nose in someone's business, don't you, Kenshi? <laughs> we have an early day tomorrow, better get some rest. Okay, good night. Kenshi leaves a room. You can sleep in my room. <sighs> okay. See ya. Wait, I call out to Ricky as he's about to leave the room. Th there's nothing going on between me and Takuto. Oh, is that all he's gonna say? Is he really not gonna get close to me anymore? Stop looking at me like you're gonna cry. Night. <sighs> my heart hurts. How can I get rid of these feelings? He was like so shocked that me and Takuto were- I really should be with Takuto. I really should like fucking pursue sh Takuto, dude. Where are we? Where the hell are we? Wow, look at all the snow. Hakato is freezing. Yeah, and I'm in like, okay, my spy uniform has been updated a bit. We're like doing the snow boots instead of the combat boots. I'm still in my skinny jeans, but they don't have a rip in them, okay? Cause it's cold. <laughs> and then my um, my jacket, instead of the tank top, I'm wearing um, I'm wearing like a long sleeve shirt. The one from last night, actually. It's, is it the same one? It might be. It is, <laughs> I think. Cause it's like, that was a callback. You know, it was like a reference. Everybody wears the same shit all the time. Sue me. And then my bomber jacket it's updated and it's like a little thicker and I just look so cute and I also have a beanie on too Amanda let's have a snowball fight a, a snowball fight take this a hero hits me with a snowball nice that's cold oof oh my snowball hit Takuto and said Takuto I'm sorry my aim was off Takuto silently picks up a snowball oh my god he stuffs it down the back of my shirt ah! oh my god help me Ricky <laughs> what have I said help me Ricky like I'm trying to get him involved too oh god 
and I gotta see what he does. He's probably gonna fucking ignore me. What are you doing, Takuto? Help me, Ricky! Now, now, you okay? You're soaking wet. Ricky brushes the snow off my shirt. <laughs> yeah, that I really like did manipulate him into this situation <laughs> and it worked. We didn't come here to play, you guys. Let's go inside and prepare for the mission. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Ricky, like he's like serious about this. When we get to the hotel, Hero's gonna enter the conference room with a fake ID pretending to be a guest. When the painting is up for auction, Takuto's gonna cut the lights, during which time Kenshi will steal the painting. Boss and Hero will distract the guards, then I'll give the painting to Ricky and Sergeant. He called me Sergeant? Wait, did he call me Sergeant? No, he called, yeah, it's Kenshi. I was gonna say, Ricky just fucking called me by my last name, you piece of shit. <laughs> and you two will escape on the snowmobile parked by the exit. We're gonna be on a snowmobile. <laughs> That's right, the snow is so deep there that a regular car would get stuck. Oh my God, we're gonna escape on a snowmobile. It's really romantic. Now let's make this mission a success. I love this. I love this game. I love it. I love it. I really thought this was gonna be one video. Isn't that so funny? I thought it was gonna be a quick little thing. <laughs> Staying in a log cabin like this makes it feel like a vacation, even though it's totally not. I hear voices coming from inside the room. Ricky and Takuto are talking. <gasps> Impulsively, I peer through the gap in the doorway. Are you really okay with that? Didn't we already go over this? I don't want her involved. Oh my God. Yeah, they're talking about me. So what? You're just going to live life denying how you really feel? Yeah, that's right. I decided I wouldn't get any closer to her. Hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't want to see her unhappy. Are you stupid? Why are you trying to act so cool? I'm not, this is how I really feel. Oh my God, Ricky and Takuto are glaring at each other. You're in love with her, aren't you? <gasps> Takuto is in love with me. I've known you forever. I can just tell by looking at you. Takuto is in love with me. Oh my God, Takuto is in love with me. Oh, Takuto, I'm in love with him. How about if you're that worried about her, why don't you go out with her? I know you can make her happy. Ricky rests a hand on Takuto's shoulder. Make sure you protect her so she never has to cry. Please make her happy for me. Don't you want to be the one who does that, not someone else? I can't. I can't return her feelings. I know that, but I just can't give up on him. Will my feelings end up going nowhere? What about Takuto? Takuto's in love with me? Takuto's fucking in love with me? I could love Takuto. I think I could love Takuto. I really do. But I love Ricky. I really do love Ricky. Like if Ricky did one fucking thing, I would be like, Ugh. like if Ricky gets arranged married while I'm like with, with Takuto, I'm going to cry myself to sleep for like a year straight. And that's not fair to Takuto. Fuck. Fuck, dude. But I really do. I like Takuto. I think that I could love him. But Ricky has poisoned my brain. I don't know what to do. This is so fucked up. This is so fucked up. Do you know what flowering dogwood means in the language of the flowers? <laughs> what, Ricky? It means please accept my feelings. I don't care about the language of the flowers. What is he doing? <laughs> what are you doing? The snowmobile races through the snow at an incredible speed. But after a few minutes, bang, bang, what? Gunshots? We're being mine. <laughs> what? That's a good girl. He just said, he said, I'm a good girl. <laughs> Thanks. I'm barking like a dog for Ricky. Oh my God, it's just gonna be me and Ricky. <gasps> no! I knew it, no cell phone signals out here. Oh my God, oh, it's, it's going down. I love fixing sad boys. I love being there for them. I love supporting men with issues. What can I say? <laughs> Back then, it was so fun just talking about stupid stuff with you before bed. I thought you were so adorable when you'd be talking passionately about art. I knew it. Yeah, Ricky gazes at me and presses it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm so glad you two are okay. No, we're not okay. Can we talk alone? Yeah, 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 of course. Oh no! Oh God, this is so bad. This is a code red. Help, help! I don't wanna be in this situation. I hate this. I'm actually really awkward. I thought I was a bad bitch and I'm not. I'm not a bad bitch. I hate this. I don't wanna do this. I hate both of you. I'm out. 